Hey guys, before we get into this episode, uh, our EP is out. It's out right now, uh, everywhere. I- iTunes, Apple Music, um, Zune. Um, it's out in the in Napster. Anything you want. So uh, go give it a listen. It's called Bangers and Ass, and that's by Tiny Meat Gang. Go give it a listen. Let us know how. Uh, let us know what you think. It's full of absolute pounders, and so there's some dingers on there too. Okay, thanks guys. Enjoy the episode. Um, anyways, I'm enjoying my new book here. Yeah, I got a brand new book. Um, this is called Making YouTube Videos for for Dummies for Kids, for Kid Dummies. <laughs> This is disgusting. <laughs> I need to learn, dude. You could probably take a page out of this yeah, too. Let's let's see what we got here. Oh wow! I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Setting aperture. That's fucking advanced now. Uh, <laughs> the one part of it is um, use a tripod, which I I was oh. at that part. You know, Matt, you can stop holding the camera. You know, yeah. you can just use a tripod <laughs> next time. You can use a tripod. <laughs> this is just. This is this is gross. <laughs> Look at this camera, dude. What the fuck? This is a fucking hold on. This is what a, kind of camera this is, is a, really this using is a here? Nine year old holding a. I'm not even gonna put. What it, even? It, what kind of camera is that? Do you know? Is, I know you yeah, fucking know. This is probably either a. It's probably a C100 Mark One or a Mark Two. Right. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Which, but she's got like the fucking. What kind of a kid can afford that? She's got the EVF. Like this thing is like <laughs> at least five grand. Like this is a huge package. No dick pun intended. This. She's just casually holding a fucking professional. Mm, yeah, it's the highest budget makeup tutorial ever. This was me on Vine. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, guys, we've got a table reading with our production team. Oh, we'll get we'll get into that later. I want to jump right into that. I'm still on this book. This kid holding an, an XF 100. This is like a two thousand dollar fucking camcorder. Yeah, this is great. This is awesome. choose a style. Oh, they're making them directors of photography now. We should probably do that though. Yeah. Eventually. Oh no 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 no. No, choose a style isn't like what your content's gonna be. Oh, short films. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you nine and you want to get on YouTube? Maybe short films is a good avenue to explore. You know that was you though. Y- yeah. You know that was you. Yeah, that was definitely me. Every other nine year old is like <laughs> shooting gaming videos, and you're like, <laughs> no, dude. Uh, in high school, I'm trying to think of the first video I ever made. Um, it was, a, uh, yeah, no, that what was, was bad. It? What was it? I've, there were plenty, but I, I, one specifically, I remember I got like a, um, I got a tape camcorder or some shit and, uh, me and my buddy were going around on scooters, like trying to get like funny shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just came out really bad. Like what? Razor scooters? Yeah. Razor okay. scooters. Yeah. It was real stupid. But the one that stands out in my mind is actually Taylor and I in high school. <laughs> we made we had a class where you always had the option to do video. Mm-hmm. And like we both sucked shit at school. So like whenever there was video, we knew we were gonna get an A. Okay. <laughs> so we one video we did, uh, it was it was about drugs. And it was supposed to be like a two minute video, and we turned it into like this six minute short film. And I mean it was funny. But like we had like this whole like plot arc and I'm just remembering this specific moment where my buddy walks into my garage and he's like buying drugs and he goes, uh, hello. And my homie walks out in a do rag and he's like, what's up, homie? <laughs> Smoke this. He just hands him a blunt and we just ran like a whole drug sequence. And my fucking our teacher is just like, oh, shit, 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 shit. He's like this Mormon guy. He like I remember vis- I remember specifically he put his hand into his face like his face. He just face palmed the whole thing. Oh my god. Yeah, he was cringing a little bit. I mean the class was laughing. We were laughing our asses off. Did you get an A? Yeah, fuck yeah. Did you? Yeah, we had this we had this ending scene where he's like in the bathroom like tripping like it's laced. <laughs> okay. It's like such a complicated story. It's also such a high school yeah. story. Yeah, it's so bad. Like laced drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean so bad. drugs are laced, sure, but like in high school every drug is laced. Sure. Yeah. Like that's that's what they make you think. You yeah. know what I mean? They're like, don't do drugs. Yeah. Weed is laced with heroin, and you're gonna die and get pregnant. Yeah. The other funny one I remember was, uh, we got in this book. Like we had to do like this report on a Moby Dick. We had to do it in groups. Mm-hmm. We got the hardest fucking book. Like you ever read that Dick? book? No. Oh, it's a hard book. It's hard in terms of like it's like long as fuck, isn't it? Yeah. It's. The commitment you have to have to like read it and like the opening, like the opening scene in it is like this dude cuddling up with a, like a native, like aboriginal dude. It's like some, some, some brokeback mountain shit, like <laughs> first page. You're like, this is the whole book. 
just very fucking all right <laughs> it, it's just not inspiring to like go forward okay it's like it's too much detail it's very uncomfortable that first fucking chapter i remember we read it and our, our teacher was like so wait, wait wait sorry it's a it's a gay love story on a boat and then the giant whale is involved in the yeah, orgy yeah, or it comes in the love all trio? over everyone and then okay. they swallow the cum and become whales and it's hey what happens when a when a whale comes through your window i don't know swim away <laughs> That's not that joke isn't normally with a whale. It's with like a, a lion or something or no, a, a, an elephant, an elephant. What happens if, if an elephant comes through your window? You swim away. I don't That's get it. it. You like if he comes through your window. Oh, oh God. You swim in the jizz. Calm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's a that's a free joke. Free joke for any of you who want. Yeah. Jokes. Anyway, sorry. Keep going. No, it's fine. <laughs> Moby Dick. No, that's just the first chapter. Okay. The rest of it is just, it's boring. Okay. And you're like reading it and nothing happens. I was the only one in my group who forced myself to read it. It was like Taylor who just, you know, a book, it might as well have been vegetables. Like, no, he wasn't fucking with it. And our other homie, Aaron, who just was a comedian dude like me. And he would, he just tapped on it. He literally was just like, I'm not reading this. And I'm like, dude, we're going to fucking fail. You were the guy in the group that did all the work. Uh, There's always one person in the group that time, has to do all the work. Yeah, this time, yeah. Well, because I was like, this is when my parents got me on Adderall. Okay. Or ADD shit. Oh, so you were just, like, you were just happy like, to do it. I was purely coked out. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can do this shit like in 10 seconds. Yeah, you're like, I read it four <laughs> times last night. <laughs> so we, uh, we do this video and we do like this infomercial about like, I don't know, shit related to the book. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just specifically remember this shot where... <laughs> We did an ad for co like a cod soup and then we we were just we wrote it so that it was like saying cock and we're like get some nice cod some nice soft cod <laughs> call now and get a bowl of that cod in your mouth like and and again the teacher didn't say anything he just face palmed it but he let it run like the whole thing we were in fucking tears we were hysterical and then the the we just we just like hanged on this shot of a bowl of cod and Taylor's just slapping it <laughs> with a spoon, just like, and it's this one and a half minute dialogue of like, put this cod in your mouth. It was so good. Holy shit. <laughs> this was in high school? This is in high school. Yeah. God damn. I had zero fun in high school. Yeah. I didn't do any shit like that. No? No. I tried to like, I, try, I think I tried to like hack the computers one time or something. <laughs> Such a uh, I know, thing to I do. know. It's so stupid, but. <laughs> oh, dude. We actually had. A couple like pretty smart like programmers at our school. One dude, he built in a um, like a like basically a VPN. Okay. So because you know the school networks are like closed off or whatever. Yeah. I think he worked on the network and then he set up a fucking an IP that everyone would use to mask. So okay. it was like what teachers used. So he gave it to everybody. And I remember just being in this ROP class, like those after school things, and everyone was just playing Quake. Like they're playing on land, like they're playing Quake. <laughs> they're not doing any work. But I remember turning around, this dude behind me, his name was Jose. He's watching hentai. Yeah. And I turn around and I like... Like porn? Yeah. Oh, I turn Jesus around Christ. and I look and I'm like, man, what? I go back to like playing Quake. I wasn't even in this class. Like that's... <laughs> it's just how much of a fucking loser I was. Uh, I turn back around like an hour later. And he's still looking at it. And I, so I, I go, I say this out loud. I'm like, man, what the fuck are you doing? This is the boldest shit I've ever done. I think I was like 14. I was a freshman talking shit to this dude. And he turns around. He just smiles at me. He's like, whatever, dog. It just goes back to doing it. <laughs> just didn't give a fuck. Oh just watching porn God. right there in class. Yeah. Not even porn. It's, yeah, it's fake porn. Yeah, this is very weird. <laughs> I think I would have rather him you know, turn around and he's just porn? watching like hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, well, at least there's real people on this. <laughs> Dude, that's got to fuck you up oh, at a young age God. watching hentai. Like, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. You got to. I think there's like people who had like aren't attracted to real people anymore. And it's like I can I just get yeah, off. No, the of course. Wait, dude, did you ever like you, you use Kazaa? Did you ever download a porn from Kazaa and like get something you didn't ask for? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I ever downloaded porn from Kazaa. What? Maybe I did. I don't know. I feel like I probably did. I, I think everyone did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, no, I don't. I don't remember like ever getting any weird shit. Though. Getting a surprise. Yeah, I probably did again, <laughs> but I just have blocked that from my memory. Obviously, <laughs> I remember. I would, who knows what the fuck I searched for? I was just going crazy. Yeah, I would just download everything. So I remember, uh, I download some video, you know, some fucking crass title, and then like, it's just it's just a anime, but or it was it was a hentai. But I didn't know what hentai was. So I start watching thinking like this is like anime. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> You're like getting into it. N- a li- pretty good. Yeah, no, like no, no, plot, no, no. Like the plot. Oh, my God. No, no. Oh, fuck. Child porn. <laughs> Holy shit. It was fucked up, dude. It was this girl. And what's, she, it, what's that octopus actually, doing? Actually, no, the- no, no. You know what? <laughs> this gets so dark and it's literally the worst time I could bring up this memory. I'm, uh, I'm just not going to say it. No, you got to do it. It's so bad, dude. What's bad? Oh, dude, it's so bad. What happens in the hentai is bad? It's so dark. Yeah. It's just not, say it. Just say it. I oh, want to know oh, now. Oh, fucking A. All right. It just, you know. God damn. I'm fucking con- strap in, baby. <laughs> Context, everybody. Strap it in. This is uh, unintentional timing. All right. So it's this girl. She's got green hair. All right. Okay. It doesn't open on porn. It doesn't look. It just looks like some fucking anime shit. So she's having some conversation. And she goes out into the street. And someone <laughs> puts a sign on her back that says, rape me. Yeah. And so I don't have a boner at this point. I am thoroughly like, what the fuck am I watching? And it's just like immediately the next scene. It's just, I think she starts like just touching herself. And then it gets it like, I couldn't stomach it after that. Cause it was like a crowd of people like, laugh- oh fuck. Yeah. Laughing at her. And then I just turned it off. I was like, okay. And I was done with porn for a while. Yeah, it was so fucked. Oh my god! Maybe dude. that's why I'm such a fucked up person. Is I have all these <laughs> shitty, shitty memories. Jesus Christ! That's a time where I'm like, I wish my parents were home. I wish someone was there. Yeah, to be like, hey, maybe don't download or just don't porn. let me on the computer yeah. in that capacity. I know. <laughs> so Isn't that fucked. nuts, dude? That like growing up, we just had the internet and like we could just yeah, like. Yeah. My parents never had anything to fuck them up like that. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? The only thing that would fuck them up is like real world shit. Yeah. Which of course happened. But I'm saying like we there was just this is a wild west of like. Oh, yeah. We we're like the most impressionable <laughs> generation. Well, no, I guess like kids probably today have it worse. You hear all this shit on YouTube, all the kids videos on YouTube. Yeah. What's, that are super fucked up. What are those about? Someone is like intentionally trying to like corrupt and like scar children oh by like basically there's like a whole bunch of like algorithmically produced children's content on YouTube that like videos that are pumped out every single minute <clears throat> yeah. that are fine that are just garbage like yeah. that are produced by a computer and they're shitty and there's no plot but they're just like dancing sharks and yeah. you know I mean it's just meant to capture the eye of kids and just like get the ad revenue right? right but then there's videos that are like intentionally fucked up of like characters like shooting guns and like raping each other and they all pass the children's filter and they look like kids content. So people like parents that are like walking by their kid watching an iPad they just don't. see, oh, it's a cute cartoon or whatever. When yeah. really it's like actually corrupting their kids. Jesus. So if you have kids, if you fuck. watch, which none of you do no, probably. No I know nobody here. that watches this actually has any responsibilities or, or, yeah. or <laughs> maybe know, they have a baby they, sister or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you see them watching some, just, just be careful. Just look yeah. at what they're watching. This all the- right. Monitor that shit because you can't, you know, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's worse now for kids, but. For us, it was like what? What age was it? Thirteen when this shit came along? No, probably earlier than that. Oh, like Eight, a, like eleven. Yeah, ten, ten, something like that. Oh, and you're first starting to find your sexuality, and all this, all that yeah. shit, and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, here's a, here's like everything. Yeah, in the world that exists. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to experience it for yourself. It's just all right here, right in front of you. You can just search whatever you want. Search boobs if you're curious, and they're right there in front of you. Did you know you could put a jar in your ass? Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, did you know that? People have sex with horses. Yeah. Well, you ever now you about do. It? <laughs> oh my god, dude! Just being nine, living on a ranch, seeing that, and you're like, <sighs> <laughs> I didn't know that that was possible. Doesn't? I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna I try mean, it. I, mean, but. Be, <laughs> I could maybe get in trouble for that, <laughs> or could I? Yeah, dude. Rotten.com. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy's name that just faved my tweet. <laughs> Weston Corey. You know, oh man, that's just wait. Weston Corey. That sounds really familiar. Uh, should I check who it is? I don't know. It's uh, probably it's probably some DJ. 
Weston Corey. This sounds like a DJ name. Dude, you know, you know, speaking of DJs, actually, I told you this. New tunes by Weston Corey. It's the number one dying YouTube channel. Weston Corey. It's a great name. Um, you know who else has a great name? <laughs> the DJ known as Cody Co. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. guy's name is C-O-D-E-K-O. Code Co. Cody Co. And he's like, he's like succeeding in in the industry he just did a song with fucking austin mahone or whatever austin nice. mahoney and uh he dm me it was like hey if you ever want to use my music or something from use videos just go for it and i was like that's dope also great fucking name yeah what are the odds of that shit <laughs> the only other noel miller is the one everyone keeps sending me screenshots of what is it some cricket player who died oh man rip yeah well, cricket was a hard game man you know yeah. it took me a long time to learn <laughs> it's weird living forever but what are you going to do? <laughs> Big rip, though. Big rip. To the actual Noel Miller. Yeah, the actual. And then Big I stole rip. it. Big rip. Then I stole it. Um, <laughs> got any uh, water in this? <laughs> yeah, are you good? Yeah. I just didn't drink any water go, this morning. Go get some water. Yeah? Um, I'll talk to them about Bitcoin because <laughs> this shit, this shit is exploding. What the fuck is going? Dude, this morning I woke up. My buddy was like, dude, Bitcoin's almost at 20K. And I and I went on and sure enough it is and now it's back down to like sixteen. What the fuck is happening? Is it because uh you can now trade Bitcoin futures? Is that what's yeah. up? That's why it's being so volatile. Yes. Man, I read some scary ass shit yesterday about like there's this post. Uh, I, like I now now I'm just like everyone else. I'm kind of like you know I'm just like really into it. I've been into it for a while, but now I'm like actually reading about it every day and shit like that. So I, I've been on the cryptocurrency subreddit. Um, I go on it now daily and read shit. There's a really funny post that, not funny, scary post that someone linked to um, that someone posted like a couple months ago and it was like, hey, I'm from the future. Um, please read this. And it was like, it was like, hey, I come from the year 2025. Like I am here to warn you about like cryptocurrency. And he just like laid down this like hypothetical scenario. Like, but it was, everything was within reason. It was all like, um, I don't know. It was, it was scary, but cool at the same time. It was just like the government's collapsing, all this shit, because, you know, the amount of people that have Bitcoin, it's like, you know, it's like 0.001% of the population that are uber wealthy and they all live in fucking, um, I don't know, private fucking, uh, 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 I don't know what the word I'm like. I'm, I'm just absolutely <laughs> butchering this. But, um, and then some guy basically, like in another comment, just outlined exactly like what he thinks is going to happen. Mm hmm. And it's fucking scary. What, what do you remember? So basically, um, <clears throat> Bitcoin. The point of Bitcoin is to render financial institutions irrelevant. Yeah. So that because everything is controlled by the government, right? And yep. or, and the Fed, um, yep. debt, everything. And yeah. so, if if nobody needs any of that anymore, the government is panicking. Yeah. Because they don't control the money, the flow of money. Yeah. Who owns money? Like that yep. sort of stuff. The banks all like your money in the bank right now is not yours. It's the banks. Right. Um, and so with Bitcoin, you own your own money, right? You yeah. have your own money. So banks are no longer needed. They're going to start making people. They're going to start making it so you can't withdraw your like, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like financial institutions will will fall. Um, <laughs> the government. I don't know. We'll start killing people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, and it's like you read. I mean, obviously I'm again, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not the smartest dude in the world. So I'm obviously butchering this, but yeah. it, it's, it was really interesting to read and kind of scary at the same time because yep. now this shit is just becoming a reality day by day in front of our faces. As yep. we see Bitcoin go up to $20,000. <clears throat> yep. yep. Like if you bought 10, yep. When I bought one, yep. You'd have 200 grand right now. Balling. Like well, it's insane. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna play the market a little bit more. It's crazy to to watch it. Just in having gone through everything I've gone through with crypto. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that you know, m my dad and I keep talking about is like it'll be it'll become interesting if like the U.S. dollar like weakens, yeah, and then like other currencies in as far as like you know <clears throat> monetary whatever. Like the yuan, like Chinese yuan, if that becomes stronger, the thing that makes will make Bitcoin attractive in that case, like two governments, is like they'll want more of it. You know, I, I just I don't know if they start buying a ton of it and they start trying to get the power back, like through crypto. It'll, yeah, it'll just get really fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, totally, 
hundred percent. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. The other thing I was thinking about was like, uh, you know, like these concepts like EOS, like an OS that has like yeah. crypto built into it. <clears throat> I was thinking about like the, the birds thing that we did the other day. Yeah. Shout out birds. Yo, shout. I, I talked about this for like 10 minutes in my own podcast. Yeah, well, just quick. But that, those things are so much fun, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Birds are like these scooters that, you that can are just, just, you can just leave or you can just, you can rent them from, from an app yep. and they're all over the place. And then when you're done, you just leave them wherever. Yep. So it's this is ride share program where yep. you're just, but they're electric scooters and they go super fast and they're yep. super fun. So the thing that I was thinking, like, remember I was joking, like there's like some Grand Theft Auto shit where you can mm-hmm. just walk up, unlock a vehicle. Yeah. I was thinking like in my head about this weird world where cars almost are not driven by people and like your, <clears throat> your device, whether it's a phone or whatever, like you just walk into a car and like swipe something and then you tell the car where you want to go and it brings you there. Like it becomes like this weird, like automated thing. Yeah. That's definitely closer to <clears throat> yeah. reality than we think. Too. Yeah. And then like, even like with food, like going into places and like wanting something like there's no one there who like serves it to you. Just like, I don't know, some weird fucking future bullshit. It's not that future, far away. Future bullshit. Yeah, some, what, I don't know. Some fuck? fucking horse shit. Yeah. Some fucking- Dude, were we, no, it wasn't us. I was talking about this, but, <clears throat> um, so there's this, there's this company. You can take an overnight bus to San Francisco. Yeah. And it's really nice. It's like a tech thing, right? So the buses are all, you know, they, the aesthetically beautiful. The outside is painted all cool and they gutted it and put all these like cool beds in there. Yeah. So it's a sleeper, right? Yeah. It's a seven hour drive or something up to SF. Yeah. So you get on at like 11 PM, you, w- you wake up in the morning and you're in San Francisco. Right. And the reason why this guy started this company is because he wrote, what was it? He wrote like a, like a manifesto or something about how to, how he would create his own city. Oh, he found a place in California Uh (laughs) that was like all viable and basically wanted to create his own city where like money didn't exist or some some burning man shit. I don't know. Yeah. And wrote this entire like, like book about how he would do it. And everything I think is, is, is very valid. Yeah. And then that's how he figured out he'd transport people to the city was this bus system. (laughs) And he was like, this is actually a great idea on its own. So he started that company and now it's working. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Got it. Yeah. Okay. I thought he like puts people on the bus, then takes them to the city and then makes them all get naked and like suck his dick. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, it's like a cult <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely. It's just, you know, uh, dude, crypto you- cult. It like, I don't know. This is kind of, this is kind of some shit. I want to see. I want to see shit go down. Shit get crazy. Yeah, definitely. Dude, I'm trying to see the world burn, motherfucker. <laughs> dude, could you imagine like <laughs> kidding fucking it's not a great joke after the fires that have been happening? Yeah, <laughs> like- yeah, maybe we. I didn't but, pick my word choice there. Hopefully everyone's okay. Well, shout out fire victims. <laughs> what? She just shouted out fire victims? Yeah, like uh, I hope everything's all right. Not yeah, like, okay. not like a shout out, like a hey, <laughs> house burned down, gang. Dude, there there was a uh, my buddy linked this YouTube video from this guy who's a YouTuber. Yeah, lived in Ventura. Yeah, in an apartment complex, completely burned down two oh, days ago. Sick. <laughs> so he did this video where he's like standing on the ashes basically being like, Hey guys, I'm going to do like a house tour or whatever. And he was like, oh see, so we got in the fridge and there's like burn LaCroix on the ground. And he's like, yeah, he's, he's like, I'm trying to do a joke, but honestly, this is like pretty fucked up. Like I used to live here and now everything's gone. <laughs> and isn't that fucked? Mega. Shout out to you, man. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Forget your name, but Wait, um, it was a good video and I'm sorry about the house. I don't want to say and I, the crazy shit. Sorry. Before no, you go for it, the crazy shit, the, the buildings right next door were fine. Just, just that one. That's <laughs> so annoying. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. That's super it's super annoying. An, it's annoying. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Fucking house burned down again. Yeah. Just, how annoying is, is that? dumb how fire works Mond- like that. Mondays. Mondays. <laughs> Gotta get my house rebuilt. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not quite done with crypto. Yeah. Sorry. Keep no, going. no, it's fine. I was just imagining, uh, <laughs> What if just in the future, like we keep talking about these robots that can backflip and like fuck your bitch and all that. Like, yeah. What if we just get in this weird, like we have all the money, but so like as much as AI would love to take over, it's like we kind of have this. Sh- I don't know. So <laughs> robots become friends. I just imagine people like contracting robots for hits and things like that. Just mm. the darkest, dumbest shit. Yeah. Like, just a dumb person thought. What I actually love right now is everyone talking about crypto. They have no idea what they're talking about. Like, yeah. I don't. Yeah. If we don't, then other people. Definitely yeah. Don't. Other people definitely don't. You know, <laughs> it's just, it's really funny to me to hear. Oh, and also I'm loving everyone that bought like $200 worth of crypto like a few months ago. 
And then like they're showing like, oh, it's at twenty thousand. It's like, what percentage wise did you make? <laughs> like, it's six hundred bucks now. Like, <laughs> no, sh- not even. Not e- like you bought two hundred bucks worth of Bitcoin. Yeah, like a month ago, it'd be like worth two fifty, wouldn't it? No, like if, if, you, if you bought in August, that's when it was like three or five. Oh, okay, okay. But still, it's Wait, like it was three or five grand. Yeah, in August. Yeah, yeah. It's ex- yeah. Jesus Christ, like, it's moving so much faster through the fucking ceiling. Yeah. Um. Hey man, if it lands on the next number, it's the the next number is twenty one, which what, it did actually. What do you mean? Like, uh, like if it follows like the Fibonacci sequence, it already hit thirteen, so like it's supported at thirteen. Okay. So the next number in theory should be twenty one. It should support at twenty one. You're saying like it levels out at twenty one? Yeah, for like, a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So. And it almost did. Yep. So you're saying buy more once it hits twenty one? No, buy more before because it's probably going to go to twenty one. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then after that, or buy, and then and then you wait, and then fucking yeah. forty eight, yeah, or none of stuff forty. I don't know. Look it up. Yeah, Fibonacci whatever numbers. Who cares? The, the what I love is. Oh, uh, sorry. One second. Our merch is on the way here. Oh, is it now? Woo. Um. <clears throat> yeah, we can announce it. Tiny Me Gang merch today. Uh, tom- tomorrow. Well, oh, yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. today. Yeah, yeah. Tiny <laughs> Me Gang got, merch. We Fuck. got merch. Surprise! We got merch. Yeah, yeah, we got a shirt up right now in the store. Um, I don't know the URL yet, but I will. Um, I, I'll. It'll look be. That the, it'll be here. Yeah, it'll, it'll be in the video right here. Yeah, right here. We'll put it there Ta-da. if you want. If you want to edit that. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll yeah. edit it. Okay, then it'll be right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking stoked on it. Yeah, it's a dope ass shirt. Real cool design. We worked yep. pretty hard on it. So, um, go ahead and I mean, cop one, cop, cop one, please, cop uh, one for the for the cause for the, for the culture for the gang. Uh, I don't know if we can say for the culture. Okay, for not the, for the culture for the Sorry. tiny meat. Sorry, I, I retract that. <laughs> Team G culture for t- having a tiny meat culture. <laughs> we have to send a very important text right now regarding our uh, album cover. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, guys, we finished the EP last night. It's done. And it will be out uh, next week. So I'm going to submit everything tomorrow. If you want the behind the scenes details, which I don't, some of you might not, but you got to submit. What do we got here? It's, a, it's a, another location. That looks dope. Yeah, but if if we were shooting like a bohemian sex video, <laughs> this would be great. <laughs> but it's not really the tone of the album. Um. <clears throat> Cool. Uh, yeah, no. So we submitted the EP or I will submit it and it's, it's fucking done, man. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. We listened to all the songs yesterday, Kelsey and I, and, and uh, I'm proud oh, of what we dude, did. They are, they are. I'm proud <clears throat> of what we did. It's only five songs, but it's like we, now we, like we, we put in some time. Yeah, man. we put in some time. So we, we polished them up. I, uh, I, I went to pick up the footage for, uh, our next music video, which is coming out next week. Oh yeah. Um, and, I was showing uh, Kale track one, and he's like he's like banging his head. Okay, and he starts smiling, and then like just by the end of it, his, his neck is like snapping. And then the song finished, and he just extended his hand. Out <laughs> he just shook my hand. He's like, "That's yes. a banger, sir. <laughs> That's a certified dinger. Certified dinger, dude. That shit pounds for <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's got, a pounder. Yeah, we're doing pounder now. That's an absolute pounder, <laughs> dude. Speaking of fucking pounders." Spotify did that 2017 year in review. Yeah. You, you ever, you, oh, do you use Spotify or are you an Apple Music dude? Uh, I mainly use Apple Music okay. and SoundCloud. Oh, well, fucking cool. I'll just go <laughs> fuck myself then. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'm looking forward to that conversation, but no longer. Um, no, so Spotify every year does this 2017 year in review. Or, well, I guess every year they wouldn't do the 2017 year in review. That right. would only make sense this year. <laughs> Um, but every year they do do a year in review just about like what music you've been listening to and they like, you know, they crunch the numbers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big data. Yep. Do a lot of data analysis. So, yeah. And they get back to you and they say, all right, here's how many minutes of music you listen to this year. Here's all the genres, your top songs, blah, blah, blah. And you know, it's because a bunch of people tagged us and they were like, our songs were in a lot of people's top played most songs. Which is big shout out. That is... um. That is a fucking compliment. Yeah, big shout out to all you rib cutlets out there that are banging, banging. our shit all the time. Banging Super Zan. Appreciate it. Uh, and Keep Your Dick Fat was up there too. Yeah. Dude, they're crazy. both now. What do we got on Spotify? I'm going to look this up. I'm not done talking about this, about Spotify. I'm not. Wanna, real I'm not. Quick, <laughs> real that, quick, want to look up. That's the, that's the new name. Okay, so if we have to rebrand after uh, No Parking in Venice, that'll be our third rebrand. I'm not done talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> No, we will one hour. 
We're almost at 30,000 monthly listeners. Holy what? what? No, you know what's insane about that? Is that that is low compared to Super Zen has 330,000 plays <laughs> with 30,000 monthly listeners. Well, that means each person on average is playing it 10 times, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's not like subscribers, though. 30,000 people are listening to us every month. Oh, well. Well, I guess, okay. So I guess that doesn't really make sense because someone could listen to us one month and then not listen to us another month. Yeah. But like, I guess this month, no, yeah, no, I, I, I'm completely wrong about that 10 times thing, but um, that's <laughs> crazy. 331,000 plays and Skippy Dick Fat is 312,000. Yeah. That is just so fun story, everybody. I almost didn't want to do keep your dick fat. Yeah, we still want to tell story. this story. Yeah. yeah. So Cody, being Cody, he's like, "Let's fucking take a shot at this dude," and I'm like, "Uh, dude, it was." Well, what if you know? Pulling. I don't know. It's just uh, is that a good idea? He, hey, so I'm like. Uh, this is this is what happened. I'm like I'm like you know film this Jake Paul video. I'm like we should try and make a fucking song. That'd be hilarious. Just try and make one, right? We could come up with something fine. And um, and Noel's like, ah, oh, dude, I don't know. You know what I mean rapping is in my past. He actually used to rap, so he's like, rapping's in my past, <laughs> dude. It's, I don't do that anymore. And I'm like, what the fuck? What are you like a like a boxer, like a retired boxer? And I don't yeah. I don't. You know, it's been a while since I got in the ring, and uh, I don't. <laughs> It's not something I do anymore. I took a lot of damage in my early years and uh, just really trying to stay focused on the family and keep things alive. So that's basically word for word what he said. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, okay, fine. Let's just don't take this seriously. Let's just fuck around. Let's just joke. Like it's just a joke. And he's like, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, I haven't I haven't spit for a while, dude. <laughs> it wasn't I don't like know, that. man. Yeah, it, it was like, it I like fuck, fucking... dude. I haven't. I don't know, dude. I haven't written bars for a minute, dude. <laughs> you, I don't think I. You make it sound like a Disney movie, bruh. Let's do this rap one more time. That's what it was like. That's fucking what it was like. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, come on. It's it's what is this? What? Are you, it's like we're just gonna fuck around. It's a song about keeping your dick fat. Well, we, we didn't have that at that. point. We didn't have that at that point. I was like, listen, dude. Let me let me make a beat. Yeah. I'll play it for you, and then you can decide. And he's like, all right, fine, make yeah. a beat. And so I sat down and I I did it. And not, a, I mean, it wasn't a great beat, but I played it. And you're like, ah. And I was like, come, on, let's just fucking try it. Come on, come over. And he's just he's just pulling me in deeper. Fine, deep, and fine. It, and then yeah, so then we start playing the beat. And then I just start fucking around saying, eat a lot of food, keep your dick fat. And then... I was like, that's it? That's the fucking hook right there? That was the joint. Yep. And then, so we... we, And then that's when you started getting stoked on it. Yeah. Because even before that, we're like, what is it going to be about, man? <laughs> I don't know if I can write 16s again. I'm not going back to that, you know, that... And that. It, it came like that. Yeah. Like, after we had that course, I wrote those fucking lines in, like, five minutes. Yeah, yeah, you really did. <laughs> I remember, you're sitting there like, all right, um... I, could, I couldn't come up with you, anything. Uh, how do you do this, man? <laughs> 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 and then, guys, we... We made the beat, we wrote the lyrics, and then we tracked it the next morning at fucking, what time was it? Early as fuck. It was like 8 a.m. Yeah. And we were wrapped. Because you had work. I had to go to work. And we yeah. had to shoot the video for it. Yeah. And then upload it. Yeah. So we got, yeah, we did this shit at 8 a.m. And then what? I came over for, on my lunch break. Yeah. And we did the video. Yeah. And then you had to cut it. Yeah. And then I cut it right afterwards. Yeah. And, and then, now that shit has. Let's like see. a million some plays. A million some. A million some. Plays on YouTube. And then that's what started the whole thing. And then yeah. dude, that has 1.2 million. That's my third most popular video. That's insane. Is that shit. 1.2 million views. And then dude, off that, that's what uh, Diamond... Or So you talked about it on your podcast. Which? Or did we talk about it on Insanely Chill? Making a mixtape or something. Yeah, I think. And then Diamond Pistols just happened to listen to it. Yeah. And, he, and he hit up Cody and says... Hey man, let me produce your next song. Yep. <laughs> it was like, all right. And we were like, okay, sure. Then Super Zan. And so we met up. We didn't even know like I had been following him for some reason. I think I just like he I don't know. He followed me one time and I liked his some of his music. I looked him up and so I was like, for sure, followed him. And then so he DM me, he's like, Hey, let let me produce your next track. <laughs> and so I was just like, Noel, you wanna meet up with this dude? And he was like, Oh, dude, I don't know, no, man. No, it's in my man. past, dude. 
I don't Keep know. Keep your dick fat was one thing, but I, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get back in the <laughs> ring, Johnny. It's just, you know, I'm not the steamboat that I used to be. I used to be the John Henry of this game. Walk through a mountain, chop it down. Now I'm just, I'm old. Come on. You haven't seen your best days. No, oh, that was bad. That was way <laughs> bad. I always go back to Australian. <laughs> yeah, come on, mate. I haven't seen your best days, then, mate. <laughs> get back in the ring. Get back in the ring and swing at him. Swing at him. Um, and so we met up with him. That's when Super Zan happened. And then uh, we're like, hey, you want to produce a mixtape? He's like, fuck yeah. EP. I got to start EP. Stop calling it a mixtape because it's an EP. <laughs> I got I got a little bit I got a little bit like discouraged when Wretch posted the track list for his mixtape that he has made since he got out of jail and it's like nine songs. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, like, God damn it. he's in the motherfucking studio every day, probably. I don't think so. I don't. Well, it's just it's all he does. Yeah, it's a little different. Mm-hmm. We're not talented, so we have to do a lot of things at the yeah. same time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. That all feed into each other. Yeah. And we hopefully have to, we have to build this web <laughs> of fucking things. So when we come to the table, it's like, ah, we do 49 things together. <laughs> They're like, oh, that's pretty good value. All right. Even now, like in, in when I have like Hollywood meetings in yeah. like with just brand, just general meetings or whatever. They're like, so tell me about yourself. And I'm like, well, <sighs> what do I, I'm a, I don't know. I'm a, well, I do a lot. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know. Just trying a lot of things. <laughs> I'm a failure is what I am. <laughs> No, nah, man, it, it was fun. It's been fun working on the mixtape because the last song I've made in life, you know, like before this, like before we started working on this, it was trash. But uh, no, no, no. I had one that was kind of, I sent you that like half done song okay. that, I ju- that my buddy had just held on to and I sent it to you like, a, like way back. I don't remember that. It was, it was just like a snippet. What was, was it called? Do you I remember? I think I just... Uh, you send it on Telegram? Yeah. It'd be hilarious if we find that right now. You probably can, but... You, uh, you wouldn't want it. You no, wouldn't because it's part, of, no. oh, it's part of your past. You yeah. Want it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. dude, it's that to me is like... 20. 12 audio files. What if it's in here? Uh, scroll up. No, it's not. Uh, keep going. It ain't there. God is good. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> if there's a God, uh, don't do it. Ah, oh, fuck. What's dude. it called? I don't remember. Honestly, I don't. God damn I think because I don't even think I named it. I think it was just like a, a date. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll find it one day. We'll play it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll and, post. I'll post that. <laughs> uh. Anyway. So I remember I had like when I found that I was like, damn, I kind of want to do this again. So I was like, I heard that before we did keep your dick fat. And I think that was the motivation. So I'm like, oh, let me give it a shot. I haven't, you know, I just want to prove that I could do it <laughs> for me. Okay. <laughs> one for what? Time. Super Zen? No, no. For keep your dick fat. Mm. She's like, come on, bro. And just something was like, I right, just All fucking right. do it. I did it. And now this, now this shit, it's fun, man. It's, it's fun. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I don't uh, know. We'll uh, see. We're, if it goes anywhere, we're going to get tested so hard by the hip hop community. Uh, 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 that, but that, I mean, if they even see it, if they ever saw it, I'm just, I saying. mean, which they might not because the next Friday we probably pick the worst release date you could yeah. possibly pick. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I would like to, I would love to get a little traction off this. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And well, I, who knows, man? I mean, maybe there's a lot of people w- that open Spotify and they're like, ah, they're in a mood. Yeah. Checking out all the new shit. They're like, who are these guys? Yeah. But there's going to be a lot of new shit. Whatever. Dog. Eminem. By the way, did you see the track list for Eminem's album? Who, who, wants, to who dude. wants to hear that? Garbage, dude. Who wants to hear that? Garbage. What is he doing? I don't know. Pink? Yeah. Pink? Yeah. <laughs> you can say it again. Come on. Pink? <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Pink. Yeah. Fucked up. I get that that's your homegirl, bro, but... I don't Pink? Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, man... So if we're competing, we're competing with Eminem, which, mind you, might not be an issue with that tr- fucking track list. Yeah. Um, Brock Hampton. Yeah, that's N- NERD. Yeah. G Easy. Oh. Which I mean, like we shot him out in one of our tracks. So yeah. So that'll be that'll be fine. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just it's well, just, we know it, the rib cutlets on this podcast will be holding it down. Yeah, you, for the gang. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to. I want to see an average of ten <laughs> plays per person. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to see. So you get 20,000? Yeah. Well, there'll be a music video. 
That's true. Yeah, maybe, keep an eye. And we're gonna make a music video for like every single song on the on the EP anyway. So maybe we drop the music video the day before. Ooh, Thursday drop. No. <laughs> we just need all the hype. I think it's uh, yeah. We need all the hype. We, we need all the hype. We all the get. traffic we can get to this fucking. Sp- yeah, yeah. Give uh, me EP. the attention, dude. I, I, you know, six nine came out with that new song. You heard yeah. that? And I, I was. Know, I um, <laughs> Yeah. Booty in my booty. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, someone posted like a snippet of it on Twitter and that shit had like, it was like, this man's about to take over or some shit and it had like 30,000 retweets. Like, how <laughs> is this guy so fucking popular right now? How in the fuck? It gives hope to anyone because... yeah. This is the dude on Reddit. There was a picture of him and it was like I, some comment was like, yo, I didn't realize this is the guy that was a meme on streetwear yeah. on the streetwear subreddit like yep. four or five years ago. Yep. This guy was wearing this ridiculous fucking outfit <laughs> that said fuck inward yeah. or some shit on the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the back, it said something similar and like a giant. It was like a skirt. Yep. Basically. Yeah. It's like Rook Lee looked ridiculous. Yep. It was like cringy. Yep. That is now six nine. Yep. That is now one of the most popping or you know rappers on the come up right yeah. now that man is a convicted pedophile and yeah and, and he's a convicted pedophile roy moore is looking at that like oh see 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 it's, <laughs> it's uh the, the kids are okay with it the kids are okay when i do it too you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's just insane dude <laughs> this dude this dude is talking in his in his song about goofy shit he goes, you uh, talking shit on the internet. That's that goofy shit. We into that boy. He's saying that with a clown, clown hair and a multicolored grill. Yeah, he's talking. He's talking about goofy shit. Yeah, I mean, hopefully and people are digging it. He's just like a Skittles package come to life. Go fifty ah, fifty ah, with the blicky ah, blicky ah, sticky ah. I hate that. I hate that I like it sometimes. I know, dude. I bang uh, uh, fucking gummo. gummo. I bang that shit. I can't do it too much. I know. It, it's just so... It's just... It's bad. It's bad because you're like, I'm supporting this shitty guy. It's, it's also... I want to just put it on airplane mode and stream it. Yeah, just str- The song isn't great. It's just like a dumbass song that, you know... I don't know, man. It's like a... <laughs> That's how I feel about it's in my it. Fucking head now. The way he's rapping on it is like how I feel about it. It's like, <laughs> like I want to like it, but I can't. Um. Anyways, back to Spotify year in review. Yeah. So all my top genres were like every every sub genre of hip hop. It was like down trap. Which I don't, what the fuck is down trap? You tell me. You listen. To I it. have. I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a real thing. Um trip hop whatever the fuck that is oh that's like uh, no trip hop wasn't on there oh i just said that because that was the first genre sub genre of hip-hop my, my mind oh, went to um hip-hop it was like hip-hop rap which what a, what's the difference oh you know <laughs> the culture of hip-hop and then the art of rapping okay so, so they're saying you partake you participate in the, hip- in the hip-hop culture i think genre wise yeah but yeah anyway hip-hop rap so you yeah. should look up your or no? You, I guess if you, it, it won't work. Mine would just be um, gummo. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! What? Vine two. Oh yeah, <laughs> just nice little seg there. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Vine two. <laughs> That's how we're segueing from now on, bruh. At the live show as well. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Oh, we still got to talk about that too. Yeah, we haven't talked at all about that. No, we haven't. And that was a great thing. Oh, it was super fun. Yeah. But let's talk about Vine 2. Let's talk about... Oh, Oh, fuck. Vine Vine 2. (laughs) Vine 2 is going through what we went through with Keep Your Dick Fat. Yeah. Come on, man. Six seconds. Just one more time. No, I can't. No, it's behind me. (laughs) I would never... I'm never going back. Don't even kid yourself. I can't. (laughs) I can't. I've left that behind. I'm a different man (laughs) now. I'm thinking about Beck from Good Neighbor. <laughs> yeah. That fucking bit. Yeah. The, dude, your mom is so... I'm, <laughs> my mom is such a MILF, dude. Don't even kid yourself. <laughs> wow, that's that's a perfect impression. <laughs> you know you want F your sister, bro. 
come on, I've seen you guys all touching and like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you, you nailed it. <laughs> you totally want to f your sister, man. <laughs> the pick is so bad. that you nailed that. That sounds exactly the same, dude. I remember watching that, being like crying, real tears, man tears, and just being like, "How the fuck did they shoot this? How do they keep a straight face? How? You know, you, you know, you're gonna fuck your sister, dude. <laughs> Come on, dude. My mom's a total mouth, dude. Fucking, you know you want it. He just like starts like going crazy. Like, Beck, dude, are you okay? Yeah. You know you fuck your sister. You lost the fucking milk, dude. Milk. You guys see you guys all touching each other. <laughs> touching. It's just such a funny ass word. Touching. Touching each other. And, dude, don't even kid yourself. <laughs> it's the best line. <laughs> Everybody go watch that good neighbor on YouTube. Plenty of fish in the sea. Oh my god. <laughs> plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> plenty of fi- Yo, do you remember their bit? Oh fuck. Do you remember their bit about the dude with the helmet? I don't think I saw it. Oh, you can't get away with that one now. Really? Yeah. I gotta yeah. watch that. It's uh yeah, it's an R word bit. It's very Yo, speaking of Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Speaking of the R word. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I, I was, I've been watching a lot of Curb, mm-hmm. and I realized the R word sketch we did is just like a bad. It just would have been like a cross out on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because that's that's Curb. You always like Larry David targets like formalities and and rules we put in play. Like on the new season, one of them, like, there's a dude from the military and he doesn't tell him thank you for your service. Okay. And he gets really fucking upset. And <laughs> that's then great. He's arguing with everyone. Like, why, why do I have to say it? You, th- you, the three of you just fucking said it. Why do I have to say that's it? That's great. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I just wanted to bring up, like, it's weird. My fucking brain is just going off here. Speaking of scenes where how do you keep a straight face? Yeah. So this show's improv or whatever. <laughs> and they're talking about something. Wait, Curb is improv? Yeah, mostly I believe it's like they just kind of like a beat sheet, hmm. and so <laughs> they're doing a scene where uh, uh, Leon, the dude who lives in Larry's place or whatever, he um, he he's fucking this yoga instructor. Okay, and so he's turning up the heat to ninety two degrees because <laughs> that's what she likes. So that Larry keeps coming home and like his glasses are all fogged up. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck is this? So like they're like getting in an <laughs> argument, and then he was like, he's like, what's that smell? <laughs> He's like, that's a sin of fuck, man. And then, and then Larry David like busts up laughing, and he, but he keeps the scene going. He starts laughing. He's like, I don't want anyone smelling like fuck in my house. And then they just keep going. The dude's like, well, that's the sin of fuck. What you gonna do about it? Like they just rock with the scene, but it's such a and it's real. Yeah, like, or it's in the show. Yeah, but it Damn, should have been an outtake. Like Larry completely gets hit in the nuts with laughter. Like he's just like. <laughs> God damn! I got. I've never watched that show ever. Yeah, force yourself to do it. It's yeah. like really funny. It's, are you watching the new? There's a new one, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. New season. The new season. You watching that one? Yeah. But I mean, all the old seasons are just as funny. That's great. Damn. The, oh, we gotta fucking. Yeah, keep going. Um. So. so uh, oh oh fuck. fuck. Vine um, two. two. <laughs> so fucking the 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 founder of Vine tweeted that he's working on a on a sequel to the app. And it was a few days ago, or maybe last week, he tweeted, yeah, it's a personal project. I'm funding it myself, blah, blah, blah. And then yesterday, he posted the design of the logo, I guess. V2. And people went fucking ape shit. Yeah. That shit has like a, like 150,000 likes on Twitter. Every single, every single person was responding to it. Um, I did my classic hot take of just like some sort of ASCII emoji, and that shit got 10,000 likes. That's nice that you can do that. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you know. I want to get in that bucket. Right? Um, clout, dude. <laughs> Ever heard of it? I don't. Oh, gee, I don't know. Ever gee, heard of know. clout? <laughs> yeah, hmm. I have no clout. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just let that one just. Um. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, Vine fuck. two, Vine two. Um, so, do what do you think? Do you think the world needs Vine two? Uh, I don't know if they need Vine two. Okay. What do you think, actually? Yeah, De- De- Devin's popping in for a quick hot take. What do you think about Vine two? Oh, I love it. I just played with it yesterday. It was, it's fucking awesome. It's yeah. much better than Wait, you've used it? Yeah. No, I, I love it. I've been making some good videos. I'll share it with you guys. Who? All Wait. right. Damn, he's in the beta program, I guess. Oh. It's it. <laughs> Clout, dude. Ever heard of it? Uh, I don't know, dude. 
He, he my one's a total mouth, dude. <laughs> you ever heard of clap? Plenty of fish in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> you touch line. You know, touch line each other. <laughs> do you totally want to F your sister, man? All right. Dude, by start. the way, merch is going to be here in 20 minutes. Sick. So uh, we got to keep this going for at least a little while. This podcast, this is the most... Into- you guys, like, we have to go shoot this album cover in like two hours. <laughs> it's Thursday. We, like, there's just so much shit happening. <laughs> I, that's why we're ADD as fuck right now because we're trying to pretend like we're not managing 14,000 different things. <laughs> this is uh this is very true. Anyway, oh fuck. Vine. Oh fuck. Vine. Oh fuck. Vine too, dude. Fuck. Okay, here. <laughs> fuck. Here's what we're oh, doing for Vine 2. Oh fuck. <laughs> so I tried very hard on regular Vine. Okay. Vine 1. That yeah, was, yeah. That was yeah. V1. No yeah, yeah, yeah. You had gear you're a whole deal you do like vfx for your fucking vines yeah looking back i cringe at that i'm like why and the one that blew up the hardest was the one where you just said skinny penis yeah yeah well and uh, i had a bunch of other ones like blow oh the millen the uh who wants to be a millionaire millionaire one one. and then like a bunch a bunch of those vines got in like world star comps oh word yeah, you know, just, I know. I hate talking about Vine, but yeah, I feel like we just we have to. Nah, it's it's that's how anyone knows what the fuck I'm doing. It's just funny, like people uh, Vine too. I guess like you know, obviously there's a lot of people discussing it. I'm honestly wondering if it's going to be like the same, just bring back like the same shit and like when they're going to do it. But um, obviously there's like a space there. People yeah. like it's desired. Like so many, and it's one of those things where it's like they're not like remaking an old movie where nah. it's like why are you doing that just let the yeah. original be the original i think people were like no this should be a thing i think for vine 2 they should not allow like custom King file batch. upload yeah oh like yeah file custom- uploads. right right okay yeah <laughs> no it should just be off the camera really you know or like you can you can record but i think that keeping it natural yeah. is what's funny yeah that that was like the fun of it yeah i took all the fun out by putting all that shit in there yeah but I mean, I had a few, my fucking you some high, dingers, dude. You had some absolute pounders. Absolute, absolute pounders, dude. <laughs> the fucking, uh, the, my hyper misogynistic vine about like when the squad about to go out mm-hmm. and I did like that NFL starting lineup. It's funny as hell. <laughs> that one was actually really, really funny. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Um, oh man. I'm just, I'm just curious, man. <sighs> what if he just drops it on us like tomorrow? That'd be sick. Vine do, vine do. Vine. It's just funny to see all the people that like were. I don't know. Doing, doing everyone that was so into Vine, everyone's like, man, I don't know. They're like the retired box. They're like, I moved on from that. I don't know. They my move, life. I can't get back into six second ring. You know, it's just been a while. I've, I've, moved outgr- on. I've outgrown Grown it. that shit. Yeah. Outgrown. It's like, what? It just, what do you mean? Just download and use it again. It's yeah. Not, what do you mean? Yeah. I'd like it's a, fun. I'd like a place to put out like bad characters and <laughs> just like fucking brain vomit. Yeah. Here's, here's what we're not going to do. All right. We're going to take it like if ads are going to be part of this shit to keep it alive, not sponsored posts. All right. We don't need yeah, a I'm six second. Shit. Yeah. I'm not doing that shit. I say well, that now, but I'm probably going to do that shit. I mean, we, yeah, I'll definitely do that shit, but I'm just saying, I don't I'm know, man. It's going to be like, cause you, you know, you need, that's actually all got, right. You need, you need like about five seconds or, you know, five or four seconds for the sponsorship. So I'm just going to be like, you know, and then two for the joke. Yeah. So it'd be like when Bay goes to your phone, I'd be like, eh, and then be like sponsored by Thai. Yeah. <laughs> the best clean <laughs> fucking detergent you can use and get the, I'm just going to wear a shirt of the brand and I'm just going <laughs> to scream buy this shit <laughs> for six seconds. Buy it. I'm cool. I'm cool. Buy it. <laughs> buy it now. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Our live show. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, shit, fuck. Oh, fuck. I just want to tell everyone, uh, Cody and I, are, we're having a table read with our production team for Vine 2. Yeah. Uh, you know, we want to keep this one natural, so mm-hmm. we've hired uh, two directors of photography. They worked on Blade Runner. Uh, really excited about that. Yep, yep, you know? yep, yep. But really, we're, we're, we're excited to pump out some real quality stuff for you guys, yep. so. Yeah, we got about a thousand page script, and it's about, you know, it's about five Vines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, that was yeah, just be thousand see- page, yeah, yeah, five. Well, it mostly action stuff. It's yeah. not a lot of dialogue. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah it's just real complex stuff. The blocking and oh, it's gonna be crazy. The effects gonna be crazy. Insane. Yeah. Avatar. Um, we got the team who did the Matrix. Yep. So they work on Avatar as well. Yep. Very exciting stuff. Yep. So Look for us on Vine too. I mean, it's gonna be. Um, you know, don't want to, you know, knock on wood, but we're, uh, we're in talks with Michael Bay. So these <laughs> things are just going to be out of this world. 
you know. Real pump for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. fuck. The live the show. The live show. Yeah. Thank you to everyone that came out. appreciate yeah. you. Big shout out. Because um, it was like nine people in the crowd. Ten, <laughs> ten minutes before we were about to go up and and everyone was like, oh, yeah, there, 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 there's people out there. I know. There's, um, there's some peep. We, my agent came up to the green room. <laughs> I guess my, yeah, and my manager, and they were like, and we were like, so how many people are down there? And they're like, what? Yeah, yeah, you know, there's people. It's filling up. This is what they kept saying. It's filling up. Yeah. It's filling up. So we're like, yeah. so it's not full. It's filling up. Yeah, it's good. It's filling up. It's good. Whenever anyone talks like a fucking steaming pot, <laughs> that's when you know it's bad. Uh, it's filling up. Yeah. And, uh, and so, and it wasn't, apparently it wasn't until right at the very end, everyone showed yeah, everyone up. Everyone so, filed in. There was like a hundred and some people there. It was a, room, it was a packed room. Oh, dude. Small, super. small venue, but it felt good. It felt packed. Yeah. And it felt like the energy was super high. Yeah. So it was great. And I got to be honest, I was super nervous before going on. I uh, afterwards, some girl was like, you, you did great or something. And I was like, oh, good. And I was like, I was pretty nervous. She's like, yeah, I know. I could tell your phone was shaking. Oh. <laughs> I was the guy that was like this on stage. <laughs> yeah. Trying to make jokes. My fucking mic is. <laughs> by the way that sound you just made with the mic whoever's driving listening to this they think like their tires is wobbling in the <laughs> wheel well oh fuck 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 shit 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 <laughs> yeah whenever i would get nervous i like when i like early on doing stand-up i used to two hand the mic oh, okay to stop me from shaking oh nice to look yeah. confident yeah i would like flex that's actually a good strategy yeah, so go, eh, yeah bitch yeah because the the crowd can smell it yeah the moment you get nervous, they're just like, all right. Here, I know. I know. Comes. That's why you just got to kind of power. Th- Dude, that's just why when I, when up. I forgot in the middle of my story, what I was saying. Yeah. I'm now I'm good at like being like, oh, sorry, I blacked out. And then just like keep going with yeah. the story and like not acknowledging that it ever happened. <laughs> yeah. But I just straight up, that happens to me. It's weird. I find my nerves like shut down my memory. So like in the middle of a story, I'll just totally forget what I'm talking just, about. Like, uh, like I'm in like a void where I'm like, I don't remember anything. Yeah. It's like a bl- and like I'm like where was I going with this? What was I saying? <laughs> and then my mind comes back to it, but it's like that period is like fucking awkward. Yo, super, yeah. Um, but it, no, it was great. It was a great show. Oh, and, so much fun. Um, we had a lot of fun. It seemed like people really enjoyed it. Yeah, people were telling us afterwards, and so now we're gonna tour. We're definitely gonna tour. Yeah, it's gonna be a super hot fire. Yep, Prepare and some st- it will be 18 plus wherever yeah. we go, yeah. not 21 plus. So. Yeah. It was just like a last minute thing. So that's why the 21 plus thing happened. Mm-hmm. Um, wasn't our choice. Yeah. The venue was being weird about it. So, but you know, and I, and I get it because there was a lot of, because pl- the way the venue is set up is that you have to like walk through like food trucks and other stuff. Yeah. And they serve shit. Yeah. So it's like, they might be cool with it, but there's nothing stopping you from going out and whatever. Yeah. So I, I, I got it, but yeah, it was fun. It was My first time being on stage. For like longer than eight minutes oh oh yeah you know which is great yeah. great like experience like we basically did like 10 yeah. stand-up sets yeah well the longest one. the longest i did was that time i went up to uh oregon and yeah I did 25 oh that's crazy <laughs> so we both that was both of our longest times on stage that's yeah, nice. yeah that was dope great. Hour, good times shut down an hour special yeah boom did it boom done Done's look out up. for our fucking special <laughs> tmg netflix baby <laughs> yeah come out to the next one it's gonna be uh dude speaking of blacking out and uh, oh fuck oh fuck <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> so i was like i was watching like one of my favorite like battle rappers okay the other day and uh <clears throat> they i like i wrote this whole stand-up bit so i don't want to talk too much about this but uh this dude like he like forgot his he forgot his words or like his verse. Oh, by the way, sorry. Yeah. The live show taping is on Patreon right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you're watching on YouTube and you want to see it, yeah, you can if you want to come potentially to the future ones, the you can Patreon. go subscribe to the Patreon and watch it. Go check it out. Yeah. Sorry. That's fine. Um, And so I was just thinking like in that moment, like it's kind of like stand up. They're similar in that if you like in a battle rap, if you forget your, your verse, that's the worst shit because the expectation is that you're going to freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Or like, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll pick it up mm-hmm. and like whatever. And very quickly you can, you know, you can start to look real lame. And this, this dude, it was so wild. Like you could see it in his eyes that he forgot the words. And he was just like, he took like a deep breath 
and he pulled some shit out of his ass and he was able to figure it out and like he like made it work but I could just see it in his eyes and the other dude is staring at him like you forgot your shit huh you forgot how does it work is it do you know who you're going against yeah battle raps these days it's like it's very like prepared so you already know who your opponent is yeah and you write lyrics before yeah oh dude they're like 30 minute like battles like they go three rounds like five seven minutes each like but i thought it was all freestyles no no not anymore battle rap is uh, a much different game so you gotta memorize your shit yeah you gotta memorize like 15 20 minutes worth of material and like you know yeah it's crazy yep my favorite like battle rappers are the dudes that are like actually real street because I just feel like when you're up there saying like, I take a WMD and drop it in your mother. And then this dude is like, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I did time. <laughs> yeah. I've sold drugs. There's a gun in the trunk right now. Say that dumb shit again. I'm going to smack the fuck out of you. Like that's what I want to say. <laughs> that real shit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You got nothing. You got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You got nothing to segue to. That was it. That's all we got on the fucking. On the, oh, I got Russian doping. Oh yeah, They're that's actually kind of crazy. I know they're you, like you, now you, banned from the Olympics. You, even though they, weren't the last Olympics in? Uh, What's where was Sochi? Sochi, Sochi, whatever. That's uh, a that yeah. was a Winter Olympics, right? E, potentially. I, was that a Winter Olympics, Devin? Sochi. Russia, yeah, I think so. When was that? Oh. Was like the most recent one. Yeah, that's crazy. The last one was in Russia. And now they're banned. Did I just like miss that entirely? Or did I, I mean, just forget everyone, about who, it? Who the fuck watches the Winter Olympics? Oh, it was the Winter Olympics. It wasn't the Olympics. No, the Winter, <laughs> the winter Olympics. Yeah, no, but it, it's like, you know, bobsledding and all that goofy shit. Hey, bobsledding is dope. Hey, gummo, we don't fuck with that goofy shit. <laughs> um, Wait. Winter Olympics 2014. I remember I used to get this shitty Winter Olympics game on Nintendo 64. Sochi, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Well, no, because I thought bobsledding was the coolest concept when I was like, I don't know, fucking 10. Yeah. I remember the fuck I was playing that shit. And this is back when like you rented games. So I would just rent like nine. And then this was like one of them. And I remember I would just like do this bobsled shit. <laughs> My dad being like, what, <laughs> what are you doing? What? Bobsledding? Why can't you play NHL or do you, NBA like a real? Do you want to talk about anything? <laughs> Just play FIFA, dude. What just, you, yeah, something. Just something with some balls. <laughs> that was the. That's one of the fucking. Dude. Like, yeah. Next, I'm gonna play figure skating. <laughs> uh, nah. Dude, I was real picky as a kid, like with food. I remember I was being picky about something. I was like being a bitch about it. I remember my dad. I think I was like eight. My dad's like verbatim. Come on, Noel. What, what are you gonna do when you take a girl out, huh? Go out for sushi or something? What are you gonna do? You gonna be picky then? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it was just Holy like the shit. most like I'm like, I'm eight, Dad. <laughs> I'm afraid to like girls. You're already fucking talking just, about me going out for sushi. Yeah, just bombing on dates like now. <laughs> what the fuck? He just knew you were a beta. <laughs> he was just trying to just just trying to just put it just, come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah, just, come on. Dude. You are just like touching your <laughs> mom's total mouth, dude. Total mouth, dude. Total mouth, dude. Uh, final season coming up for most of our listeners here. <laughs> <laughs> what, in college? Yeah. Yeah. Or okay, high yeah. school. Yeah. Or high school. I don't no, know. probably college. Yeah, college. Uh, no, I looked up. So on Tiny Me Gang, yesterday, I looked up our audience. Oh, nice. It's, it's very solid 18 to 24, 50 50 guys and girls. Dope. Yeah. Yeah. 18, 24 and 24 to 30 or something is you, the next one. Is you the know next one popular. You know what I'm going to say? What? I saw some compatibility socially between the fans and the listeners at the show. Yeah. I think it'd be a great place to meet somebody. Oh, I could see. I could see how sparks could fly between a few people. Just saying. I'm just saying. Come just to the saying. live show. You come to the might show. find your next. You might fuck. You might fuck. You might fuck. I actually think that's possible. They might fuck. You might fuck if you come to the show. Yeah, there's a big pot. There's a big chance big that you'll ch- fuck. You'll fuck at this show. Mm-hmm. That'd be actually that'd be awesome to know going forward. Like every time we do a show, and if we just had like a list of names of people who had fucked <laughs> after the last one, <laughs> send us your name. Yeah, send us your name if you fuck. If you fucked at the show, just yeah. a quick shout out to everybody. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to um, Angela and Michael. They banged like <laughs> uh, you know. Whatever bangs, <laughs> that'd be so. F- that'd be such a. F- it'd be a hilarious, They're like b- thing to have, like a theme at your show. Is yeah. that people like fall in love? Yeah. At your show. Yeah. You know, a, it's just like a horny show. It's a tiny meet meetup. You know I mean, yeah, tiny meetup. Yeah. That's yeah, expected. Yeah. Guys, there. 
we're on the uh, average side. Yep. Maybe even sub average. <laughs> and ladies, if that works for you, <laughs> we're out here. Gang. Uh, okay. Oh, son of Again a bitch. Again, it happens. Again. Everyone was tagging us in that article about little penises are in. Okay. And it's like, yeah, to me, that actually, I think statistically, that probably makes more sense. Average meat mm-hmm. being the preference. Yeah. Because you don't want to get fucking hollowed out. Right. All right. You don't want to just get carved open like a fucking, Ew. like a canoe or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Jesus fuck. I'm sorry. I just, it's the graphic. language. I'm, it was very graphic. I'm just like, I, <laughs> I was just, a, <laughs> imagine from a woman's perspective, dude turns around. And he's just got just like a fucking excavator <laughs> just hanging between his legs. If some females are into that, but I could imagine there are other females that are just like, oh, that cannot go <laughs> in here. That is. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Do I have to sign something for the, that? We met at the tiny meat gang yeah. show. I, I didn't. That is. Well, I wasn't. I was not expecting this. That is not. This, sir, this parking space is compact only. <laughs> All right. Electric vehicles. Electric vehicles only. <laughs> This dude pulls up with the fucking four, the fucking Chevy thirty five hundred <gasps> twin turbo. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm so hungry. I can't even think about anything. Yeah, I'm starving too. Um. So we're gonna shoot this art at two. Yeah, we're gonna go shoot this album cover. You say one or two? Uh, one. Okay. Cool. Where is the space? It's gonna be in downtown. Okay. Yeah. Guys, guys, we uh. We're actually very, very excited about this mixtape. I actually can't stop thinking about mm-hmm. it. It's one of the uh, creatively. I think this is the most proud I've been in a long time. Yeah, because it's the first time but like we've worked on something for an extended period of time. Yes. Everything I do is just like, oh, well, one and done. It's like I work on it for one day and then it, or the longest four or five days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Shoot something, spend a few days editing it yeah. and that's it. I'm getting a lot of questions about Suki and I think maybe I'll just put out the word here. Sure. Speaking of long creative. Yeah, stuff. sure. Uh, where oh, there's some air, there's some insider information. This is exclusive to the pod. Okay. First, first look. Mm-hmm. Um, edit is real good, everybody, but we're actually going to go out and do some pickup shots. We're going to add a little more like it's worth it. And it's, uh, when are you going to do that? Oh, uh, the next few weeks. And then, you know, wrap it by end of January. That's the goal. So I think, uh, we keep talking about it. I think like these pickup shots we have planned, I think it's going to tie it all together in a way that's like it, like right now it's cool. But, and I think our expectation is that it would have been dope, but we, we honestly think that once we get these shots, it's going to be like, damn, really like we did that dope. Yeah. That's so. sick. Anyway, back to the mixtape. Um, no, I think we're done talking about the mixtape. You think so? I yeah. Know, it's just, well, just yeah, let yeah, yeah. well, you just let him hear let it. Let the music yeah, just, speak yeah. for itself. Let the music speak for itself. Um, I'm going to be in Miami this week. I'm going to be at art Basel. Yeah. What there, the fuck around. is that? It's like an art festival. Yeah. So it's like all the cool, I don't know. Because you just love art. Apparently, I fuck with art. Dude, I love art. I'm a huge, huge art Huge art con- consumer, connoisseur. Hmm. Art? More like. More like fart. Let's just say that. Hey. <laughs> we'll do a throwback there. Let's just say that. Yeah, that's right. I'm stoked though. No, I actually am a big fan of art and uh, Art Basel looks very cool. And it just, look, it just looks fucking, it's honestly one of those things where it's just like, it looks trendy. Yeah. So it's just like, I, I, I'm going to feel like a cool person being, being there. there. Yeah. And so I dig that. You know, it's, it's Miami, you know, it's, it's actually a funny way how that works. Like if something has to look trendy. Like it can't be niche. Mm-hmm. Like niche stuff doesn't look cool. Yeah. If it's like you and nine people observing like a French painting, like a oh, very exclusive. Exhibit. Yeah. Like, what the, the fuck? Yeah. You can't really be into art. Yeah. You're just supposed to be fake into yeah, art. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's most things. <laughs> yeah. You just pretend. That's the gram. It's a giant poser. That's yeah. Instagram in a nutshell right yeah. there. <laughs> Pulling up, getting the picture and being like, all right, can we go home? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn it. So I'm bad. so hungry. I can't even focus on anything right now. Oh, I'm just like in pain. I'm so Same. hungry. Yeah. Dude, I've been getting small this week. Not that I'm big. You can't lose weight in one. Well, the US you can. I can. Fuck. Yeah, I can. So you got small. Like you went from being not small to small in one week. No, but like I can, I can see it like. This, it's just like I look limp. Yeah, feel you. <laughs> I look a little deflated. You look pretty s- saggy. Yeah, and yeah, my fucking my moves are coming back out. <laughs> <laughs> moves. Oh, we could talk about my shitty weightlifting for a second. Here. Okay, sure. Actually, no. I thought it was. Oh, re- it's eleven twenty. Oh, it says eleven twenty. Drop should we, off. Should we just preview it right now? Okay. That's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, hold it up. It, yeah, yeah. Let me go get it. Yeah. 
So you keep him. I'll keep, you keep talking about moves. Talk about moves. Talk about moves. Hey, listen, if you're afraid to get in the gym, male or female, you absolutely should. You probably look like shit. No, uh, just do it. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience. Just forcing myself, like reaching in the back of my throat to go to the gym. It's uh, you fucking hate it, but you just get the work done. You just fucking do it. I'm not trying to be like one of these fitness idiots because I clearly look like shit, but just do it, man. Take care of yourself. I'm at this fucking phase in life where like I kind of got to start taking care of my body because like, you know, it's just bad shit can happen. So get in the habit now. Plus it's nice to look good. This is weirdly positive. This is very outside of my character. Fuck this. Let's talk about something uh, sad and depressing. Uh, here's one about the future and AI. Uh, so no one uses Facebook and I got this idea in my head that Mark Zuckerberg would put out an army of robots to kill people, to send younger people notifications <laughs> that someone they knew has died. They should check in on their family and friends on Facebook. And I imagine him setting up the meeting to make these robots with nine androids of himself. Like I think Mark Zuckerberg is just, you know, he's extending his robot personality and technology into other beings. And eventually half the world will just be Facebook built human beings. <laughs> hey, Dev, you want to join for a minute? He's grabbing some shirts and I'm uh, yeah. Today has been a hell of a day, so I'm, I'm bombing a little bit and we're back with the man, the the, the audience, the chief of, of book cameo or one of yeah, yeah. one of how's that been dude it's been good yeah if you guys are curious about it go to book cameo dot com check yeah. it out you can book Noel the you can book me to fucking hurt your feelings although I've been slacking a little bit what else have you been up to seems like you've been just working working yeah. on the clock yeah working but I don't know I'm going to going to SF this weekend yeah what would you say well, you're replaced now, so. So how long you guys, uh, like, like how, how long in terms of time are you guys doing this particular podcast? Is it like a two-hour one? No, it's like about an hour or so. So, you know, we're around. Hour 20? Yeah, okay, hour 20. I don't even know anymore. We just, is, is there a theme to this one, or is it just like the weekly one? Uh, it's just, you know, the weekly one. Gotcha. We're, we're talking about, we're talking about crypto a little bit. Yeah, crypto. You, you right? up? You are up? You invested? Yeah, I'm, I, I got you some got? chips down. Uh, you know, I don't talk about my portfolio. I don't like to flex, but no, it's not a lot. A little crypto. Yeah, no, I don't mean like how much. I mean like literally what do you... Oh, have? oh I have Bitcoin? I have Bitcoin, I have Ethereum, and I have IOTA. Nice. Yes. Nice. That's yes. a very, yeah. very strong leverage asset yes. there. Yes. I like that. I'm early in. Good to see a little diversity. Yeah. Spread it around. The one I want to get into is No Limit Coin. What is that? It's tied to a fantasy uh, like sports network. So you can like gamble on that shit. Oh, that's sick. Also, yeah. did you see like they might repeal the anti-gambling laws? Oh. Like the Supreme Court, I think, is like hearing it. Oh. So that, that'd be cool. They're going to... Like the Supreme Court, I think, or some court is like hearing a case to like repeal anti-gambling, sports gambling laws in America. That's how the government gets back into the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They build crypto casinos. <laughs> no, but government, oh, government. Sa- government built. Dude, so what I'm thinking is we got an ICO. Oh, for a uh, cameo for uh, like for cameo coins. Oh, I feel like, would you guys buy a cameo coin? Yes. Yeah, drop it into the comments. <laughs> would you buy a cameo coin? <laughs> huh? Cameo box? Yeah. Cameo box just raised like a cool 50 mil. <laughs> <laughs> it's for a good cause. <laughs> you hear about this ICO for this coin EOS? No, it's, it's supposed to be an operating system that has like crypto built into it. It's a great concept. They value like, so you you join the ICO right and you get tokens the valuation like the math is like they're valuing themselves at eight billion dollars yeah yeah and everyone's sense. like that's not a scam at all <laughs> yeah it's not a scam they also don't accept your crypto if it comes from any major crypto platform you have to send it really? from like some suspect wallet it's oh, like yeah, that's oh if it comes weird. from coinbase we won't take it it's like I but guess it's probably to like avoid fees or something there's so many is, is it illegal to steal bitcoin no. The question is, is it illegal to steal Bitcoin? No, it is not. What the fuck can you do? It's like, but it's stealing. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, well, so many scams happen, right? Yeah, because there's no, I don't think there are any laws around what it is. It's got to be illegal, right? Like, like yesterday there was a, like, reported $500 million in Bitcoin stolen. So Cody's saying there's $500 million of Bitcoin stolen. And uh, 
just want to come out and formally say I did it. So, <laughs> you know. You that's can, why you wouldn't talk about Yeah, that's why I wouldn't talk about my portfolio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, have like, I have like two Ethereum and, you know, $500 million <laughs> of stolen but, Bitcoin. But, but just, you know, yeah. it's light. It's, and also some iota. <laughs> some iota. <laughs> Because we don't know that it's not illegal to steal Bitcoin. Yeah, we actually could be completely wrong about that. In my opinion, if you pirate anything, that's badass, but definitely illegal. <laughs> if you pirate something, do you kind of... I, I kind of view pirating under like the take your bitch law. It's like... Is that a law? I mean, I'm making it a law. Okay. Like if you get your bitch taken... That's on you. Yeah, like what can yeah. you do? So if like your shit gets pirated, that's kind of like... Sorry. I, yeah, that's true. I got the swag. Yeah. <laughs> I took it. I took yeah, that shit from you. It. Yeah, I finessed it, homie. Finesse five hundred million dollars yeah, in Bitcoin. Yeah. Who finessed that shit? Finessed that shit. Hey, we got oh, a third oh, player. Oh, oh. Oh. Are you expecting that, huh? <laughs> Damn, I am good. off camera. How do we? Uh, who, what's your sound guy's name? Um, Fred. Philip. I was gonna go with Phil. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, right Phil. Up. Phil. Anyway, Phil, Fred, turn that. Fred, can we need channel three down, please? <laughs> channel three down? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> What are you doing? Like, we're right back up. <laughs> uh, so, all right, one minute. One minute. What's one the, minute. What's the last episode of Orange County that you guys watched? Ooh, seven. I mean, that was what last week? Six or seven? What was it? Yeah, seven or eight. Wow, it's coming back. You've been keeping up with it. I think it was like the seventh, but it was episode eight. Or <laughs> 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 yeah, no, we've been we've been doing it every week, so it's been good. Yeah, we got a, we got a new <laughs> one coming been out pretty soon. Them. We've been doing them. We're going to post 200 episodes at the same time. <laughs> it's just, the yeah, whole we've, anthology. We've been posting them, but we haven't been like sharing on Twitter where they are. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, so we have like a small set of like very dedicated users that, that like are in the now. So they're finessing the episodes. Yeah, they're finessing it just like Bitcoin. So if you want these episodes, you've got to go get them. We're yeah. just going to give it to you. you got to pirate them. It's like success, man. You want that shit, you got to go take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's <just> so stupid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is um, this is a hell of an episode. Did you read that book? You see that this book? book? Yeah, the uh, the YouTube for kids. It's this not it? for kids. Why does Cody keep saying it's for kids? It's just make, it's called making YouTube videos. There actually is nowhere on this book that says, oh no, it says kids filmmaking teacher. Oh, he's yeah, a kids I mean, filmmaker. Yeah, it's it's like there's a little bit of overlap, but it's like <laughs> I got the book to be helpful. I didn't get it like. <laughs> isn't that <laughs> for kids? Isn't that like a not necessary thing to specify? The kid part? Yeah. Because you yeah, can say like, you teach kids anything. Yeah, exactly. And like for somebody like Cody who just wants to like to start at a beginner level, then it's just like <laughs> unnecessarily like offensive, you know? Okay, here it is. Oh, damn. Wow, that's I'm actually fucking sick. With it. I like that a lot. Okay, three, two, one, merch. Boom. Boom. Your there boy. Right there. Look oh, at that. That's pretty fucking slick. That's fresh. Yeah. Yeah, that's super dope. That's super fire. I'm fucking with that. Noel looks way better than you. <laughs> yeah, no, Noel looks like mysterious. Look at the back, handsome. <laughs> oh, it's got some shit on the back. Oh, goddamn! What does it say? Tiny Meat Gang printed. This is double sided, fellas. This shit is nice. Yeah, you gotta pay extra for that little yeah. thing on the back, huh? Real yep. shit. Well, everybody, you can get that today. Represent.com slash. Oh, look at that! The, the video just happened to stop recording. That is fucking awesome. All right, wrap it up. We should wrap it up. Yeah. Okay, guys. I, oh, I know we've been dragging through this one. I apologize if uh, <laughs> if you got fucking bored at any point. Um, bonus content coming out next week from the live show. And uh, see you next week with another episode. Peace. See ya.